Let me move on to this uh, this EPA water regulations. I now I heard a little bit about this, but I dare say most people don't know what we're talking about when we say the EPA water regulations for Florida, which are being proposed. Tell us uh, what the deal is with that. Well, again, to not to get overly complicated. First of all, there's a general problem going on with with regulations as we speak. I mean, there's just they're onerous. They cost a bunch of money. They hurt economic development, so forth and so on. We're, by the way, we're not against all regulations. There is a room for regulation and need to keep our water clean and our air clean and and to make sure people don't hurt each other, but this one goes way too far. And the problem with it is, number one, the science behind it is not good. I mean, in essence, it doesn't justify the massive um, economic pain that this is going to inflict on industries from tourism to agriculture. Number two, it singles Florida out. It's the only state that this is being applied to in comparison to other states. In fact, it's so ludicrous that we are being asked to clean up water that's coming up from Georgia mm-hmm. and, 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 and places like that just north of us because the water is flowing into our state. We're being forced to clean that up. Number three, uh, it actually singles Florida out because Florida has uh, water standards that are state water standards that we set up. So, um, and, and so hopefully uh, we, can, we can figure out a way to keep this from taking effect um, last year, they gained a delay. Both Bill Nelson and George Lemieux, that was here, who was here at the time, wrote a letter to the EPA, and the EPA delayed implementation. But that time has expired, and now they're looking to implement it, and it would be disastrous for Florida's economy.